welcome back to my channel. This is Connie and Connie's Country Finds on eBay and Country underscore Finds on Poshmark. And I am sitting in my car because I am getting ready to go into my favorite thrift store to see what they have. So if you guys are interested in that and a haul at the end, stay tuned. All right, I'm breaking in on this one. I thought this was funny. I'm not at a Goodwill, but had a Goodwill price on there. And I actually think that this store's price was just a little bit under the Goodwill price. I just thought that was kind of funny. I thought this pillow was interesting. I actually did a really quick Google search on it and couldn't find anything. So I figured that it was um, handmade because there's no tags or anything on it. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool. I mean, somebody who plays soccer would probably like it, but I went ahead and passed on it. I was looking at these golf balls, they're new, and I went ahead and put them in my cart but I did a really quick search on eBay and decided to pass on them. Wasn't enough meat on the bone and I didn't know how long they'd take to sell. And I really couldn't find a whole lot of comps on them. So, but I found some other good stuff. So make sure you stay to the end to see the haul.
I'm not really into getting toys a whole lot, but I do look for Bratz dolls, Monster High, wrestlers, and old Barbie dolls for the most part. And I didn't see anything here today, so didn't get anything from the toy bin. They've had this rock doll for a while and uh, his hair is all messed up so I passed on him even though I love the rock. Alrighty guys, I got a little bit of footage for you. I know it wasn't a whole lot but I come out with some really good stuff. Again, this is the second time this week maybe it was last week that I did a haul for you guys I can't remember but um, it was a really good I found some really good stuff so if you're interested in seeing what I picked up make sure you stay tuned for the haul all right I made it home and um, I'm pretty happy with what I picked up today I went through the store the first time and shopped and then the second time I went through is when I took you guys through so uh, you didn't see anything that I had put in my cart that I had bought. Um, I was just trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything because I tend to miss things when I'm recording. So I went through the first time and then I went through with you guys the second time. Alright so um, I did get a lot of breakables this time. I went today because they were doing a dollar on all clothing. Last week was 50% off. And I really didn't find any clothes. Um, of course, once again, I really didn't look. Um, i just been hitting the jackpot with hard goods over there lately. So I just kind of stuck with that. And that just seems to be where my brain has been wanting to go lately. So I'm kind of giving myself a break on clothing. I have plenty of clothes to list. Um, so, and I'm kind of waiting till their fall stuff comes out. They're clearancing out their spring and summer. So that's what was out in sale for a dollar. I did get one item, um, but I will show you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this haul. So I picked up, I found some Betty Boops figurines. This is Betty Boop all dolled up collector figurine from 1996. And that is what she looks like. She is really, really cute. Now, I did pay it for her. I paid $8.50. But I did some comps on eBay, and it looks like she could go for $20, $25. So I'm, I'm good with that. And then I found another Betty Boop. She's a little messed up. I didn't realize that when I picked her up. But I think she'll be all right. Um, she was $8.50 as well. So she's a hula hoo, hula hoo, hula, what is it? Hula dancer. I thought she was cute. She is kind of shedding on her skirt a little bit. And um, this says 2001. So she's a hula girl. And then, <coughs> um, let me grab a drink. Have you guys had the Oreo frappes from McDonald's yet? Amazing. All right, I found this Betty Boot. It says it's not easy to be this good. She was $12.50. Now, I have a story on this one a little bit. She's from 2001. This one I might end up keeping because my best friend for 40 some odd years, uh, was a huge Betty Boop fan. And uh, she passed away last year from breast cancer. So if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you, you probably would have known that. But if you're new to my channel, uh, she was uh, 48 when she passed away. And next month will be her one year anniversary of no longer being here with us. So she was 
a huge Betty Boop fan. So I decided I think I'm going to keep this one and just kind of, you know, it's an angel Betty Boop. I just feel like I need to keep this one. So this one is going to stay with me in my collection. So even though she's gorgeous, $12.50 I paid for her. This guy, I paid $14.50. And comps were all over the place for this guy. I also have a white tiger that I picked up some time ago. And it is much bigger than this guy. But I seen it the last time I was there and I passed on it and it was still there. So I feel like I had to bring him home. I just couldn't leave him there again. I think he's cool. He's huge. His, from his tail to his head, he's approximately, well actually, if I go from his tail to his paw, he's 18 inches long. From his tail to his head is about 15 inches. And he stands about total at the highest, eight inches. So he is a really good size tiger. And I thought he was cool. There is absolutely nothing wrong that I see with him. Um, that's just paper. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with him at all. So, I just had to get him. So there's that guy. And he's heavy. Oh, goodness. Alright, so the next thing I picked up was these candle holders these were 250 a piece and i thought these were kind of cool i did a quick search on them and it looks like they could go for like 20 bucks each or something around there so i'm actually going to lot them together and sell them together because i feel like they need to be allotted this is a boot and then this is the horse and they're just candle holders so, there's no markings or anything, but I did find this one, I think, and it was like $20. So, I'm going to lot them up and probably ask $30 for both and see what happens. Somebody who's into horses or western, that would be good for them. Um, next thing I picked up... was okay here is a polar bear I paid 350 for him he's a polar bear candle holder with felt on the bottom I have a polar bear and then let's see if I can find the other one real quick I think this might be it and then here's another bear I guess he's a polar bear too. He doesn't have, he is missing his felt on the bottom, but they are 350 a piece. No, sorry. No, he's not, he goes this way. There's his felt, candle holder. So I looked these up on eBay as well. This one I think is one I seen sold for 20 to 25. So I will probably lock these up together and do maybe 40 for the pair but I thought they were cute and they're in really good condition as well so like I said I paid $3.50 a piece for those and then I picked up this I picked up as soon as I walked in I knew this was something special I didn't see any sold comps for it, but I did see it on eBay. I paid $9.50 for this. And how cute is this, guys? There's the front, actually. That's the front. 
a hanging bat up there with the scarecrow. I guess you could put a candle in there. Look at the detail on that. Look how cute that is. It has a pumpkin on the chimney. Look how pretty this is. So I don't, I need to do a little more research on this one to see what they're selling for. But I had to get it. And it does say Heather Goldmink, Goldmink, G-O-L-D-M-I-N-C, 2000. So this is handmade. How cute is that? And perfect season to get this listed. So I had to get that and it's heavy, it's ceramic. And then the next thing I picked up, okay, this is another Betty Boop. Um, this says, it's so good to be bad. And I thought this would be cute for the Halloween season or any Betty Boop fan. This was $12.50 and this is a 2001 as well. She is adorable. And I don't see anything wrong with her. Looks like the fur seems to be intact because this is faux fur. And see how cute that is? So I ended up getting four Betty Boops. I think those are adorable. All right, and that's all the breakables. And then the only clothing I picked up, this is heavy too. Everything I got today was heavy. This is um, a waiter set. I have one already up for sale. This is an extra, extra large men's protective wear flame resistant tested so I guess you can use it I don't know for firefighters I, I assume I don't know but I have to look this up perfect perfect condition it's green this is the jacket and then I got the bottoms as well All right, and here is the bib set. This is the bibs. It's really hard to show, and it's even harder to photograph. But this looks brand new. It doesn't even look like it has been worn at all. And I paid $2 for the set because all of their clothing was a dollar piece. So, yeah, I pretty good deal I think. All right guys, uh, let me know what you think of this haul. Uh, give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe and let me know what you think of this video, if you enjoyed it or not, and maybe what your favorite item is that I picked up today. I ended up spending about $85 total for all my items, but I don't think I'll have a problem getting that back whatsoever. So, all right guys, until the next time I see you, I hope you have a great day. Bye.